Hello everybody, it's Emily from Emily Loves London. I hope you are all good today and having a fantastic day. I am filming in this in the night time actually, so this is why the lighting's a bit yellow. <laughs> I apologise, but I have kind of fixed the problem with my shiny face. Sort of? Nearly? We're getting there. We're getting there with the lighting issues. Anyway, so my video today is basically um, telling you and starting up my new vlogging schedule. Um, one of the videos that I'm going to do every month, which is my book challenge video. So basically, um, every two months, I will set myself a book challenge and I will um, post this video every month. Um, so one part of the the first month will be what the book challenge is and then the second month will be how I am getting on with that book challenge and if I'm going to meet my deadline or if I'm not and how I'm finding this, maybe if it's a series or like a big author sort of binge, uh, seeing how I'm finding the different books. So let's get started with the first book challenge. Okay, so um, this this first book challenge is basically going to be finishing series because I started quite a few series in the end of 2016 and I really, really, really want to finish them off because, you know when series is sitting in your mind and you're like halfway through them and you're like, I want to know where these characters have gone. I want to know what happened to them. I want to know if they're still alive or if they're just in a ditch somewhere because they I only say that because I read a lot of crime novels, <laughs> so people end to, tend to end up in a ditch <laughs> in what I read. Um, but basically, so the first series I am dying to finish over these two months is obviously going to be the Six of Crows duology, which is written by Lee Bardugo. So I read Six of Crows in the end of 2016 and I absolutely loved it, it was a fantastic book. I sort of raced through it. And so loved it and then the end of 2016 happened and workload went crazy and I was trying to kind of work out where I was going with my blogging and vlogging and then it was Christmas and then it was New Year and then it, the, the time had gone and I hadn't picked, I had it on my shelf. <laughs> I had um, Cookie Kingdom which is the second book on my shelf ready and waiting to get on with that reading and finish that duology and I just I didn't get to it. It just life just overtook, which is really annoying. But this is gonna be a first goal for 2017 to finish this duology and here it is Quick Kingdom. I've got my copy here. So I am ready to finish this duology and find out what happens to everybody, especially Kaz and Injun. I really, they're my two favourite characters out of this series and it's just phenomenal. Um, basically what happens in this series is a big, it's a big fantasy heist um, and it's basically following the characters in the gang and their adventures on the heist and then after that, oh I can't say anything else because I don't want to spoil it. Um, so this is what happens after the heist happens because stuff happens. Go read it. Please. Tell me your thoughts because it's so good. <laughs> and then we can talk about it and not. I could just put a spoiler over this video but you know I feel like I shouldn't. <laughs> anyway so this is my first book challenge of the month. Uh, of the two months and then I have one more book challenge I wanted to put in because I started this is another series I started in 2016 in the late months and I, it was a series I honestly, I liked but I didn't absolutely love and it took me a while to get into and everybody, um, through the people I've talked to about this series, they've said that oh, once you get into book two and book three, you'll really start to connect with the characters and really love the story a bit more because um, uh, a lot of my friends said um, that sometimes they found it slow in the first book. So that series is the Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children series and this is book two, this is Hollow City 
and then there's obviously Library of Souls which is book three. So I've read book one which is the home uh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and by Ransom Riggs and I halfway through I loved it. <laughs> it took me a while to get into it I have to say um, but maybe that was just me. Um, but yeah I loved it in the end and I can't wait to finish off the series and see where all these characters go or where we actually go with these if it's those characters or if it's completely new characters I'm not really sure I'm really excited because <laughs> um, it left on a bit of a high so I'm anxious to get back to the series and finish it off so there you have it those are my two challenges for my first book challenge of the year and this is going to span over two months so next month uh, when I do my book challenge video it will be basically just updating you on how I'm going if I'm going to meet my deadline which is three books three books um and how I'm going with that and how I'm finding the end of these series Thank you so much for watching guys, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you have any ideas for book challenges that you would like to see me do, leave your comments below and your ideas below, I would love to hear them and if you are new to my channel and you like this video and want to see more of me you can click the subscribe button below and you also have the bell thingy that gives you notifications if you want to be really eager. <laughs> <laughs> which is totally fine <laughs> so I hope you have a wonderful day guys and I will see you again soon for another video bye